run over. It's tricky. All right, so it looks as though we're actually just going to go ahead and drop down to loser's quarters here. Um, looks like we... Uh, did we have doubles on the other side of things? Because it looks as though we played it off stream. Yeah, it looks like we have some, some matches played off stream. We had Luna and, and uh, DJ beating Slox and Lent. Okay. Another Game 5 set. Very nice. Uh, and then this is still happening. Yeah, Matthew Blade Wise, Dark Tooth Kaon. So now we have. Is it Dark Tooth Kaon or is it Dark Tooth? Dark Tooth Kalamazoo. Kalamazoo, that's right. So she okay. Or Fox Peach versus Peach Peach. Nice, nice. That'll be interesting. But, uh. So, yeah. All right, so PewFat being knocked down to losers and a nail biter of a game five. Uh, game five was a little more rough than, uh, than one would think. Yeah, and it, once again, that SD from yeah. PPU really set the tone for the rest of the match. Really did. And then uh, La Luna and DJ Nintendo, Team Grab and Go, one of the pr classics in Melee, uh, being knocked out by Cheetah at HBox. Not too early, but early enough to get him back down to the losers. Yeah. Around the ninth place, I think, in quarters for winners. They made a, you know, they're trying to claw their way back into the into the money. Oh yeah, no, they're they're one of the, the most solid teams in I think the building right now. They're one of my favorites, definitely. I, they they just been around, man. They've been here. New York loves teams, uh, and you know, obviously, it's we have you know Dark Tooth and uh, on the one side of the bracket, and we have you know, DJ and La Luna on their side. New York loves teams, and they're good at it. They are very good at it. He's been very good at teams for quite a while, too. Tri-State's scary, yeah. honestly. Those guys work hard. They really do. All right. Hand warmers, just getting things going here for you folks. Might as well give some shout-outs to the sponsors here, Game Underground. We've got Esports Eco, a new cryptocurrency, Gaming Generations, and gaming Games Underground, I believe. GU. A, uh, game Underground? Yeah, Game Underground. Yeah. I, I went there when uh, Brawl was released in 2008 oh, or nine or something. Oh, let's go. I went to that tournament. I, uh, I bought my copy of Brawl there. Wow. So. Was it a, was it a Brawl melee tournament? It was a melee tournament and then midnight release. Okay, sick. I don't know where that copy of Brawl is now. <laughs> I lent it to somebody and they never turned. You know, one of those. A things. lot of us a lot of us don't know where our Brawl copies are. I mean, I didn't need it after a while. Yeah. <laughs> I, just, I, just had, I just had a. Uh, oh, I shouldn't talk about that. Yeah. I had a, uh, another way to play the game. Gotcha. Yeah. I see. Yes. Because my we stopped reading double layer discs. Ah, uh, gotcha. All right, so we've got Grab and Go in the red and Pewfat in the blue. Tags indicating, you know how it is. All right, and just trading out here. Marth's getting in work on the foxes. Yeah, it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool seeing the foxes take sort of a backseat while Marth gets to be the aggressor, make the plays. Yeah, I think the the way that these guys play is just so different though, because the teams, oh, no. while the comp is similar, they look so different sometimes. Yeah, for sure. Like. Pewfat, known a lot for their big flashier team combos, doing a lot of work that way, but I feel as though Team Grab and Go works a lot more off of just getting that raw neutral win and being able to pick up the grab and then getting everything from it. Yeah. It's just that, interesting to see. Definitely oh. geared more towards isolating their one, one, one yeah. player. And it's like you always see. Oh. That is actually so smart. Oh. Because no one wants to grab. Yeah. So you might as well just counter. That made so much sense. It yeah. almost worked out. Almost got the... Oh, <gasps> fantastic air dodge there. Sick angle for... <laughs> wow. <laughs> so much going on here. All right. And La Luna finding his way back in. Okay, picks it up there finally. Yeah. Oh, that lets him go. What? What is going on? What, what is going on? <laughs> Why are you do what are you doing? <laughs> real, real curious decision making here. Oh, he made uh, that back? That was... Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> the right side of the stage is cursed today. It is just not looking... What? This is so, so weird. Okay, actually, but that extra up here from PPU made sense because it prevented S from getting hit by yeah. DJ, which would have killed him. Yeah. So that one makes sense. Yeah, it's like the, I need you to be safe, so I need to hurt you a little bit. <laughs> you know? Does it hurt uh, me more than it hurts you? I'm sorry. Yeah. Sometimes, love hurts. I wanted to say love is a battlefield, but we're on Pokemon Stadium, so yeah. I can't. Oh my oh god. Man. One of those rare cases of catching DJ with bad DI. Usually he's a strong component of very, very good DI. He's been using his invincibility so well, too. Like, every time he's come down with invincibility, just about, he's been able to get a kill or, like, really solid positioning off of it. He's hunting every single time. Yeah. Sniffing him out. Using that Volpine. 
That full pint nose. The schnauzer. The, sch the schnoz. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, and the scoops. All right, yeah, switching over to Fox here, taking the stock. It's just strictly better in the 2v1, but man, is it yeah. tough. I was wondering if we'd see the, uh, the controller switch. I'm not sure if that's legal. <laughs> oh, yeah. no. Here, give me here. <laughs> oh. The grab and go. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, just stay in the pit. I mean, you get more benefit. Or you just leave sometimes because you want to go for it. Yeah. Nice. Sounds about right. Fat Pew. My favorite double seam. Huh? Fat Pew. They, fat they, they're pew. standing uh, on the wrong sides of the tags. <laughs> so I said Fat Pew. But yeah, that was um, a very solid game for yeah. Team TLG. It very it was pretty chaotic at the beginning, but once the they got a they got a couple of early kills with tippers, yeah. uh, you know, stray tippers out of the blue, really well spaced by PPU. Okay, so now love is a battlefield. Yes. Now we can. Play. <laughs> there we go. Hey, it's now cool. we're in there. All right. All right. Blue team putting up big damage on the board here. Uh oh. And no. DJ getting caught out. Unfortunately. One for the play. Oh no, the left side's cursing out too. I ledges are just It's over. There's no, a no more ledges. <laughs> we're, we're we're rivals of Aether now. Oh. No right. ledge dashing. Oh no. Oh my god. I remember there was a brief period in French melee history that there's another example of the shield on the dare blocking yeah. the spike from happening. <sighs> oh. You're saying in French melee oh, history? Yeah, the uh, battlefield was banned because ledges were wonky. See, but this is why I like the French. No. I think the battlefield's a fine stage. It's just if the ledges are, ledges are just a mess. Sometimes. Sometimes. Right. We, we know why they're wonky now. Yeah. Least. Oh, my oh. God. Oh, my God. Yeah. Saying so safe. I, I love how he just waited it out. Because, I mean, if your opponent, you know, is out there seeking you out and you're able to just stay right outside of their range for that, like, big dividends, big payoffs. And he bought enough time for the moon to come help or the moon yeah. to come help. The artist formerly known as the moon. <laughs> Oh, I'll shorten there from that spot. Sometimes happens you're just kind of mashing, you know? Yeah, you're just like, eh, oh. I gotta get out of here. All right. They're still looking good, though. I mean, they've got this little snap to ledge. It's definitely been a very dynamic uh, doubles match yeah. set so far. Like, it's a lot not, of SDs. <laughs> it's, there's a lot of, not a lot of uh, you know one person waiting doing a lot. There's lots of two empty ones, but also you know them tag teaming in and out really quickly. Oh, wow. Ooh. Great pickups here. It, it's just hard sometimes, you know. You're like, you're wanting to go in so often, and it just, it's so scary. Your target switch by DJ. Oh, oh down here to back here. What up air? Not quiet. That was rough DI on that air. <laughs> he was down and out. <laughs> All right, Clank City. Yep. Oh. oh. Oh my goodness, trading off the ledge so quickly and able to find safety here for Laluna. Oh my god. What? Barely makes it away. Rolls into the ledge and he still makes it back. Esfat not ready for the scrubbiest, scariest <laughs> roll of all. Rolling into your opponent. Oh my goodness. You gotta, you gotta react, right? Yeah. It's tough. Okay. Alright, they managed to finish off that stock, but Laluna gonna have a hard time getting back here as an invincible fox comes down. DJ all on his lonesome. Oh, baby. Yep. So I'm going to see one of those patented Pufat combos, but oh. this is alright, too. Oh, my goodness. So much coverage. It didn't matter that he missed. No. Yeah. He was just there. Yeah. I mean, if you have two characters on the ground and available and ready, you can cover you know, two of three or so. There was a and the rest is just reaction. Yeah. 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 Oh, unlike the uh, the roll into your opponent, you can cover the other stuff on the rash pretty easily. Yeah, yeah. No, it's oh, it's scary. <laughs> being being in two v ones and being in hard knockdown is just like ah. All right, <laughs> so behind door number one, I see Marth Ford's match. Behind door number two, I see uh, Fox Grab. Hmm. These are my only doors. <laughs> good, good. Excellent. This is exactly what I want. This is my favorite game show. <laughs> Right, so they're going back to the battlefield. Uh, it was, you know, it was relatively close. It felt, it felt like P5 was kind of the lead for most of it, but yeah. 
Oh. Great position there by DJ. Yeah. Uh, oh, nice little plup near there, rising up. One of the things that's really important about doubles is our standing. Sometimes you got to be there to follow up after the, the first hit, yeah. so they don't get anything else. Exactly. Like if, if you can if you can stop it before it happens. And, oh my goodness. Oh the counter. That was sick. Yeah, that actually got him so much space back. All right, zooming out. Going high. Oh. Okay, not quite the tipper there. DJ's use of shine stall is actually so good. Like, he is so willing to just hang out. Oh. But, uh, that upward air dodge by the ledge has been, you know, saving out, saving him so many situations where he should have gotten gimped. Yeah. Uh, but they finally caught on. I think the, the difference there that time was that he was using it. Oh, oh okay. no. The immediate F tilt there to just cover jump. I think the difference was is that he had oh. his partner there a lot of the time to be able to save him. Right, right. And, like, be able to cover space and kind of make it like a, oh, it's not very likely that they'll be able to get me out of this. Uh, but he was all on his lonesome that time. That was a very terrifying position for both foxes. They're just in between two Mars faring on either side. Yeah. Not as scary as the Peach uh, double down smash. No. Not not nearly. Oh. oh. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> the get up from Fox pushing the other Fox off stage. Okay. All right. Balloon. Oh. Not quite able to make it back. Man, they're trying to do so much work here. Yeah, that was a rough one because it's like if if I go so high, he's just gonna be able to react. If I try to snap the ledge, he's already there. Right. You know, I gotta go for this, this safer mid option if I can. Oh my Ooh, god! Ooh, so clean. Very well played by DJ there. Yeah. I played both on the recovery. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Runs in and up smashes. Low percent. Sure thing. Sometimes you gotta force the issue. Yeah, you're like, hey, listen here. Up smash. Oof. Yeah. That's the conversation ender. That's definitely the. Oh, okay. Oh. Woo! <laughs> Dang. Oh, man. And oh, down here? All right. He's, yeah, he's, he's living. Back. He's living. That was still nice. Lelena well, trying his best to make the plays yeah. that he needs to. His movement's good. I mean, he's. Not getting caught up in too much here, but it's just, you know, it's a war of attrition at this point. There's only so much you can do with a low percent fox on deck when almost. Uh oh. <laughs> Sorry, you were you were saying? That was really cute. But that that was said. the conversation. Yeah. It just happened to be the awkward, I'm going to just kick you forward portion of a f up smash. <laughs> There's a, also at the end there, you saw PPU get weak up smash on. I was about to send him out off stage yeah. to get the, the swag, Ender. Oh my goodness. That's pretty good. Crazy, crazy stuff. So that's, right. uh, that ends DJ and Lelina's run. Yep, fifth place. Pretty solid stuff. All right, so that means that they're going into loser semis, I believe. And on the other side, oh, wow. I know that we've got Shootout Hbox on the other side of losers. And then facing them is Darktooth. Oh, oh no, Mac D Bladewise taking over Darktooth Kalamazoo. Okay. I don't know if we're going to be taking that in to uh, this side of things there or not. Our very gracious yeah. uh, staff over there. Real solid stuff. It looks like, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get the other side of Loser's Quarters here. This is going to be, I mean, we've seen some uh, Peach versus Ice Climbers in doubles today. Just a little. Just some. It's, uh, it's pretty nasty. We'll see. Yeah, that was.